Okay, ladies and gentlemen, please don't panic. There is another way of create, uh, creating this kind of uh, movement of our images inside our 3D space. And we can do that by using this plugin called 3D Assistance from uh, Digital Anarchy. Actually, they have a lot of different plugins, amazing plugins that we can use inside After Effects and inside other applications too. But this one allows me to... Uh, well, actually, you can read all this. While After Effects gives you an amazing 3D space to work in, it doesn't give you all the tools and blah, blah, blah. You can read this, this uh, <laughs> all this uh, text there. But I want to show you how we can use this kind of plugin. One thing is that I want to... I, I want to point that you can use this, uh, you can try this demo for 10 days with um, all the freedom of this amazing plugin. And if you don't buy it, well, it's, you, well at least you can try it, all right? So if you, you want to try, just click here, try demo, and then you can uh, install this plugin inside your After Effects application and check the other plugins that, that they have here in Digital Anarchy. They have a lot of different uh, plugins, amazing plugins. And now, okay, let's see what we have here. In the last movie, I show you how to use the separate uh, this preset that we have right here, but I'm going to delete the preset. Okay, I don't care about this warning. And now the plugin is not going to be in your effects uh, panel. It's going to be here in your window panel. And here you can see in your window menu, excuse me, you can see that right now we have all these different new options here. Well, actually, let me show you first. I'm going to deselect all my layers. Then I'm going to go to Window, and now you can see all the gray ones are the uh, 3D Assistant plugin. All right. Now, they can't be selected without uh, selecting one of these layers. Now, if I remove the 3D action here, and I select all my, la my layers, and go to window, you can see that I, uh, I, I cannot select these uh, options here. So it's important to have at least one selected and it has to be a 3D layer. Otherwise we cannot use our plugins, all right? So let's select all the different plugins, uh, the layers, excuse me, and let's go to window. And now you can see we have a lot of different options, all right? We have a spheroid uh, distribution, sphero a spheroid creator light, we have almost uh, two different versions of uh, each one of these different commands. And one is like a light version of the complete version. So you can see matrix creator light, matrix creator, linear light, linear assistant, uh, cylinder, and so on. Let's see the cubic distribution light. Well, actually the cubic distribution. I'm gonna click here. Now you can see we have this new window. One thing is that we have our cubic dimensions, all right, our cube dimensions, so we can create like a kind of cube, and we have our three different parameters for X, Y, and Z. Now we have the next thing, excuse me, we have the starting volume, and the starting volume is where our cube is going to, all the deformation of all the, where our uh, cube is going to, to start, all right, uh, the distribution of our layers, like the the center of gravity, all right? Where is going to be the center of gravity of my images and, or my layers, all right? So we have the starting value. For example, if I press right now, apply with all the settings like that, you can see that we have this kind of uh, distribution, all right? All my layers are arranged uh, like this. And for example, if I press C and change to my camera tool, you can see how these layers are being uh, distributed like that uh, just with one click. This is amazing. Now, if you don't like that, all you have to do is press here inside After Effects, okay? Press Control C and remove that uh, these operations. Now, let's change some of the parameters here. What I can do is in the Y axis, select zero, all right? That way I'm not going to move my layers in the Y direction and I can press here distribute randomly so I don't have to go all the time for 50 I can do it there randomly and I'm gonna have different kind of effect I'm gonna press uh, apply and there we go now we have this kind of effect as you can see different result with only a few seconds I'm gonna press uh, ctrl c in order to 
remove this operation and as you can see you can do a lot of different things for example the start uh, we can move these ones 5000 pixels in the C axis click uh, apply and there we go different action so as you can see this is one of the easiest ways of uh, creating this kind of uh, distribution for our layers and like uh, like I show you you have a lot of different kind of uh, options to use is not only the, the, the cubic distribution, you have linear system, matrix creation, spheroid, and so on. So we have a lot of different options here. Now, uh, what we can do is just take, select our camera and place it in the position that we want. Okay, there we go. We have our layers in 3D space, randomly distributed by our 3d assistant and that is amazing all right so that's it for this movie i see you in the next one